Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Namaste. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. <laughs> Hello, Shaji. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to all the people in the YouTube channel as well. Well, welcome to day 246. How is everybody doing today? Good, sir. Doing awesome. Good, good. Are you ready for the rituals? Too much exercise, yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay. Moment. Okay, everybody, gently close your eyes. And start taking deep, long breaths. And keep all your attention focused on your breathing. Just stay focused the tip of your nose. Up up ne naakke upar dhyan de taaki aap mehsoos kar sako. Yeh hawa andar ja rahi hai. Aur hawa bahar hai. I'm completely aware of your breath. Now move your awareness to what is happening around you. कौन सी आवाजें सुनाई दे रही हैं? कुछ आवाजें बहुत दूर हैं, कुछ नजदीक हैं। सारी आवाज को सुनिए। Also move your awareness to the surface of your skin, where the air touches your skin. एक ऐसा महसूस हो रहा है वो। Now move your awareness to inside your body. Notice your heart beating. The lungs are expanding and contracting. Domain is going up and down. And as we become aware of all of this, we are now completely in the present moment. The most beautiful moment of our life. Slowly open your eyes. Let us get ready for the rituals. You cannot change the past. You cannot do anything in the future right now. अगर आप कुछ कर सकते हो तो एक शन इस शन का पूरा उपयोग करना है. Let's do our rituals. सबसे पहले हमारा प्रोसेस कौन सा है? The cleansing process. हमारे माइंड को क्लेंजिंग करते हैं. कुछ ऐसे पैटर्न्स जो हमें परेशान करता है, जो हमें गुस्सा कर देता है. जितना हम उन पैटर्न्स को निकालेंगे, उतना आपका माइंड Rather than reacting, it will rest. Let us pay attention and start tapping on the karate chop point.
Let us tap 35 times. Wonderful. And now we can start tapping on the rest of the points. The theme for today is your work area of दिन का हमारा कितना समय हमारे काम के पीछे जाता है जो भी काम करते हो कोई स्टूडेंट है तो पढ़ाई करता है कोई होम मेकर है तो अपने घर को संभालती है बिजनेसमैन अपने बिजनेस को संभाल हम जो भी काम करते हैं उसमें कोई ना कोई चीजें होती है जो हमें तनाव क्रिएट थोड़ा ध्यान दीजिए पे अटेंशन टू द वर्क एरिया ऑफ योर लाइफ चेक आउट दो थिंग्स दैट क्रिएट स्ट्रेस फॉर यू इसके ऊपर पूरा ध्यान देना है और टैपिंग करना कुड बी लैक ऑफ सेल्स इट कुड बी कैश फ्लो इश्यूज कुड बी पीपल इश्यूज Whatever it is, ध्यान दीजिए इमोशन को फील करिए Let the mind completely focus. Stay focused on the issue and keep that. Let us take one last round.
don't let the mind go here and there focus on the work area of your life and focus specifically on one or two issues they say the emotions and tap wonderful let's finish up the process and let's take three deep breaths in lambi gehri saans leni hai naak se andar munh se bahar nikalna hai hey everybody let's take three deep breaths then just keep your eyes closed for a few moments and feel the stillness in your mind man shant ho jata hai Grab the recipe. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Please have some water. Always have some water after tapping. You will notice that your mind becomes calm and peaceful. The moment you release all the negative emotions connected with work, you start seeing that the change starts to happen. क्योंकि आप किसी भी चीज के लिए ज्यादा अंदर वरी टेंशन स्ट्रेस एंगजाइटी में होते हो तो आप उस चीज की तरफ उस तरह के वाइब्रेशन भेजते हो और जब वो वाइब्रेशन भेजते हो तो यू स्टार्ट अट्रैक्टिंग मोर एंड मोर थिंग्स व्हाट इज द बेस्ट थिंग जस्ट रिलीज ऑल द इमोशन वॉट एपन द माइंड बिकम्स काम एंड पीसफुल यू सी दैट एरिया ऑफ लाइफ ऑल्सो बिकम्स काम एंड Today we go to the next process where we express deepest gratitude for our work. We go. Chai, kitne bhi challenges ho, hum apne maximum samay ko apne kam mein bitate hain. And our work gives us a lot of satisfaction, gives us an opportunity to balance, meet people, travel, nayi nayi chiza sikhne ke liye hume opportunity milti hai. To usko grateful hona bahut. So pull out your gratitude journals and let us be grateful to the work area of it.
Once you finish and close your eyes and feel the gratitude from the depth of your heart. We are so blessed. Thank you. Thank you. There are millions of people on the planet who don't have any work at all, are jobless, who don't have any work. Imagine we are so blessed. And fulfill the gratitude from the depth of your heart. Be very grateful to God for the opportunities that are given to you to express your talents, make a difference to other people's lives, execute your purpose on this planet, travel to learn new things, share new things. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. And while you're connected with God, we should express our deep, our forgiveness. Kisi na kisi ko hurt kar dete, kabhi apna kaam complete karne ke liye, kisi ko daat dete, kuch and that may end up hurting a lot of people. We can always seek forgiveness from God. I am our intention ho ya no. Kabhi kabhi hum apne actions ke dwara, apne shabdo ke dwara, vicharo ke dwara, kisi na kisi ko to hurt kari dete. Ayan jane. Jada dar to hume pata bhi nahi hota ke hum ne kis ko hurt kiya, kaise hurt kiya. But there is one place where all the accounting is made with the universal intelligence. You can stay connected with God and seek forgiveness. The dear God, if I have hurt anybody, knowingly, unknowingly, directly, indirectly, in this life or any of my previous lives, where I have hurt hurt my thoughts, through my words, and through my deeds, Seek forgiveness from the bottom of my heart. Please forgive me and release me from those. Hey, Paramatma, agar mene kisi ko bhi hurt kiya hai, jane and jane me directly and directly, is janam me ya pichle kisi bhi janam me agar mene kisi ko bhi hurt kiya hai, मेरे विचारों के द्वारा, शब्दों के द्वारा या फिर मेरे एक्शंस के तो मैं आपसे तह दिल समा चाहता हूँ प्लीज मुझे शमा करें और मुझे उन कर्मों से मुक्ति दीजिए थैंक यू वी नो दैट गॉड इज एक्सट्रीमली काइंड always forgiving, always loving. Because God is the unconditional love. Like, as parents, we always love our children. We always forgive them, finally. Similarly, we are all children of God. So visualize that He is showering His unconditional love on all of us. And it is falling on all of us like a beautiful waterfall. This beautiful energy of unconditional love is entering our body from the crown chakra. Filling up all the 50 plus trillion cells of the body. 
passing through all the belief levels. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, God, for your mercy, for your blessings, for your unconditional love. Visualize that this energy, which has filled up all the 50 trillion cells, is healing every cell physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, washing away all the unwanted karmas, all the unwanted patterns from the subconscious mind. All the sanskaras. Jo hume sab nahi karte ho, sari chije wash out ho ke ja rahi hai. It is leaving you in the form of a black gas, which is sent to God's light. Thank you, thank. You. Now that you are cleansed completely, pay attention to your heart center, which is now radiating the energy of the creator of unconditional love and compassion. Feel this beautiful energy of unconditional love, which is overflowing from your heart center. Filling up your entire home, covering all your loved ones. Filling up your office area, covering all the people in your office. Further expanding into the city, the state, the country that you live in. For most of us, it is India, so covering all the 1.3, 1.4 billion people and all the living beings. And finally, this Beautiful vibration is spreading into the entire continent of Asia. Finally, the entire planet. Visualize that the energy of unconditional love and compassion has spread into the entire planet, covering all the 7.4 billion people. All the living beings on the planet. Thank you, thank you. And now stay connected with God. You may want to transport yourself to one of the most beautiful places on planet Earth. Become aware of the presence of the source energy within you and within everything around you. That is a divine expression of the source. That will give you an idea of the infinite intelligence. of this energy which permeates through the entire universe. Be grateful to that energy, universal intelligence is flowing through everything Binds the entire universe together. 
feel the interconnectedness. Just stay focused on your breathing for a few minutes. And as you connect with this loving, intelligent energy, which is there inside you and everything around you, notice that this is the energy which has created the entire universe. As you deeply connect with this energy, you can tell the energy exactly what you wish to create in your life by visualizing your goals in your mind. So visualize your health goals first, that you have accomplished all your health goals. Body weight, what you want Your body structure, your looks, your energy levels. You are radiant, vibrant, powerful, capable of doing endless work, not getting tired. Always smiling, calm and peaceful. Dealing with different situations with ease.
you're enjoying peak health. And this is enabling you to enjoy all other areas of life as well. So be grateful to God for this amazing health. Thank you, thank you. Visualize your relationships. And see that all your relationship goals are also accomplished. Visualize Now move on to the work area of your life and visualize that you have accomplished all your work-related goals, your targets, your initiatives, whatever you have decided, you are able to accomplish all those. Your work is spreading, reaching out to more and more people. Creating excellence in whatever you do. When you do your work, you are simply focused on your work and not attached with the results. So, you are doing your work, you are doing your work, you are doing your work, you are doing products, you are services ke through. Our success automatically flows into your life. All the money, the resources, the prosperity that you need, simply flowing into your life. See the abundance, the prosperity coming into your life. By way of SMSs showing up in your phone, by way of the bank statements that you can see the prosperity coming in. Money is simply flowing into your life. And these resources you are using to fulfill your family's dreams, your dreams, living the lifestyle of desire, And contributing even more, knowing that you are blessed with so much. You are doing even more and more for those who are less privileged in a difference to their life. The abundance that is flowing into your life is used more and more. To make a difference gives you a deep sense of fulfillment, meaning and purpose to your life. And when you look at life from a distance, you see that you have been able to create the life of your dreams. You are deeply grateful to God for assisting you in creating this life, always want. In this whole journey, you have become the one you wanted to become. Having developed the virtue of patience, perseverance, and courage, and honesty, integrity, of never giving up, strength and the resilience and the communication and the leadership. Aapne wo sari qualities develop kar le. 
और आप एक वो जीवन जी रहे हो जो आप हमेशा चाहते वेरी ग्रेट और फॉर हेल्पिंग यू क्रिएट दैट लाइफ थैंक यू थैंक यू Remember, nothing ever happened without blessing of the Almighty. We can decide what we want. We can keep doing our work without the blessing. Nothing ever happened. The gardener can sow the seed in the ground. He can keep watering the seed. The conversion of the seed into reality is only in the hands of. Let us be deeply grateful to God. For giving us this opportunity to live a beautiful life, life of meaning, purpose, contribution, or happiness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us take a moment to pray for those who are lesser privileged, who are going through challenges right now. a moment to connect with god and request god to send us healing energy to all those who need it right now we know there are people in our own maybe in our own families maybe on relatives friends who need healing people on the global healing list people who are in a non circles and a non circles so many people needing help to come out of their current situation requesting god to send us healing energy dear god please send your healing energy your unconditional love to all these souls who need help right now we send your healing energy to mother earth also needs healing right now thank you it is done it is done it visualize a beautiful divine healing energy coming directly from calling on mother earth healing mother earth विजुलाइज करे कि उनकी शक्ति जो है वो हमारे प्लान अर्थ को हील कर रही है सो मच हैपनिंग राइट ना हो तो उसको हील करना जरूरी है एंड दिस ब्यूटिफुल अनकंडीशनल लव हीलिंग एनर्जी इज ऑल्सो रीचिंग आउट टू ऑल दो Falling on all of them like a beautiful shower, like a waterfall, entering their bodies through the crown chakra, filling up their entire system, passing through every cell of their body, healing them physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, releasing all those unwanted karmic patterns which are creating the challenge in their life today. Slowly, you see that every soul is rising, awakening, and this beautiful planet becomes more and more beautiful. All the souls on the planet, all the people, become completely cleansed. All the negativity, all the patterns, which create all the all the challenges on our planet. See the planet Earth, the darkness where every person is lighting, like beautiful lights. See the entire planet lighting up as the soul of every individual awakens. It lives their full potential, living happy, healthy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God, for your blessing, for healing. 
loving this world to be a much more beautiful, loving, passionate world. Thank you. And now we request the creator to do a few downloads for us. The downloads for today are I am focused, I am kind, I am strong. I use my words to help bring out the best in people and I can maintain joy in my life. Can I request the creator to download all these programs for all of you and instill them at all cell levels and all belief levels for each one of you? If you want to install these programs, please say yes. Thank you. Creator of all that is. It is requested that the following programs I am focused. I am kind. I am strong. I use my words to help bring out the best in people. I can maintain joy in my life. That the energy of all these programs is downloaded from the seventh plane and instilled at all cell levels and all belief levels for all of our 5 a.m. participants who have said yes, including myself, my family. And this be done in the highest and the best way. Thank you. It is done. It is done. It is done. Please show me. Witnessing the energy of all these programs being downloaded from the seven plane. All of them combining to form a beautiful integrated light falling on all of us like a beautiful water. Entering the body from the crown chakra, filling up all the 50 plus trillion cells, passing through all the belief levels. And now these programs are instilled in every single cell of your body. आपके बॉडी के हर सेल को पता है कैसे फोकस रहना कैसे काइंड रहना कैसे स्ट्रांग रहना कैसे अपने शब्दों को दूसरों को इंस्पायर करने के लिए यूज करना और कैसे अपने जीवन में खुशी मेंटेन करना थैंक यू इट इज डन इज डन इट इज Now, we can create a beautiful shield around us to protect us from any negativity of the external world. Remember, God has given you such a powerful layer around you. Nothing can touch you. But this aura weakens at times because of our own thinking. So we can reinforce these auras through creating a beautiful shield around so visualize yourself and say the word shield with an intention of creating a beautiful shield around you. Visualize a beautiful divine white light around you. Kicharo or Bahati Kupsura Safed Ranki light hai. Or is ke bahar ke surface pe kaina hai jo bahar ki or reflect. This is your psychic shield. Protects you from any negativity in the world. Look at your family and make an intention with a shield. And then visualize all your family members surrounded by this beautiful divine light of God. See all the things that are valuable for you, your home, your car, your office, your money, your investments, your work that you do, the people in your life, जो भी चाहते हो, जो चीज़ आपके लिए बहुत important है, तो visualize करिए and say the word she. And 
And in your mind, you can affirm that I am safe and divinely protected. My family is always safe and divinely protected. All the things that are important for me are always safe and divinely protected. When you say these words with ultimate conviction and faith, then you will notice that nothing outside. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dear God, for helping me create this beautiful shield around me, my family, and all the things that are important. You can use this technique to protect your business, the vehicle that you're traveling in. Suppose you're going by a flight, you can fight. Going by a car, you can protect your car. You will see how beautifully this energy protects you from anything that may happen. Thank you, thank you. And now, let us bring ourselves back to the present moment. Having completed our rituals, pay attention to your breathing. Notice the air going in and out. Notice the gentle movements of your abdomen going up and down. Notice where your feet are touching the ground. And as you become aware of all of this, you are now completely in the present moment. And you can rub your hands. Place them on your eyes. And when you are ready, you can slowly and gently Take your palms away from your thighs. Opening your eyes with a blink, with a smile on your face. Look into the palm and make a beautiful wish for today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaste to each one of you. May all your dreams, goals, wishes, aspirations come true. This is our wish for you. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. And now that you've completed the rituals, take your mirror, look into the mirror and express your deepest love for yourself. Knowing that you are a magnificent creation of the universal energy, universal excellence. Look into your eyes and tell yourself, I love you. I really, really, really love you. Say it five times along with your name. And then look into your eyes and ask yourself, what can I do to make you happy? Wonderful. So, now that we have completed all our rituals, put your fist out in the air and say, yes, today is the best day of my life, the most amazing day of my life, the happiest day of my life, the most productive day of my life, and something amazing is about to happen. Miracles are flowing into our lives and we can make the best use of this day, create something amazing. Okay, this day will never come back. 
make the best use of this day and do something which can leave an impact on this planet. Okay? Do some acts of kindness, do something good. Make a difference, my dear friends. Agar chote, 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 abhi difference kar sakto, to kari. Okay, give a nice hug to yourself, pat on your back. Good job done, good job for showing up. Nice pat on your back, give a nice hug to all your family members. And now we're going to listen to the inspiring story of our dear Priyanka Chopra. Let's listen to her. Priyanka Chopra was born in a small town in India, in a humble family. Both of her parents were doctors in the Indian army, so she had to move a lot in her childhood. And as a teenager, she moved to USA where she studied in many public schools. But she decided to return to India because instead of becoming a performer, she wanted to study and become an engineer or psychologist. I believe destiny and hard work go hand in hand. I was studying to be an engineer when my mom and my brother sent my pictures for the Miss India contest. I didn't even know about it. If that isn't destiny, what is? She was selected to represent India at the Miss World pageant, where she was crowned Miss World 2000. And after winning the beauty pageant, winning the beauty pageant, she dropped out of college to become an actress. I feel that I'm Destiny's favorite child. I have made sure that whatever opportunity comes my way, I give my heart and my soul to it. So the credit of my work goes only and solely to me. And after an amazing career in Bollywood, she decided to take over Hollywood too. But that was not an easy path. Her success story is filled with failures and setbacks. Every star has their individual journey. In mine, I have faced a lot. I have been kicked out of films because someone else was recommended to the producer. I cried and got over it. Eventually, those who are meant to be success stories become that, despite all hindrances. Even though she's former Miss World and an international star, Priyanka Chopra still hasn't escaped the tendency to be rejected for roles because of her race and skin tone. It happened last year. I was out for a movie and somebody called one of my agents and said, she's the wrong physicality. So in my defense as an actor, I'm like, do I need to be skinnier? Do I need to get in shape? Do I need to have abs? Like, what does wrong physicality mean? And then my agent broke it down for me. Like, I think Pry, they meant that they wanted someone who's not brown. It affected me. Also, she was told that, as an actress, she was irrelevant and disposable and that she should be happy with the role she has, no matter the terms. Like a producer-director, for example, early in my career, I must have been about 18 or 19, telling me that if I didn't agree to the ridiculous terms or painfully low salary in his movie, that he would just replace me. Because girls are replaceable in the entertainment business, that was a memorable one, made me decide to make myself irreplaceable. In one of her best motivational speeches, she inspired our hearts and made us love and respect her even more. I want you to aim higher, because you know you can. And it's honestly all I did. Every step of the way, all I did was set a higher standard. How did I get here? By being fierce, by being fearless, and by being flawed, completely and utterly flawed. There is only one you, because there is no one like you. And I don't mean the superfluous, superficial parts. I'm talking about the core of you, who you are inside, your values, your beliefs, your flaws. And once you understand who really that person is, you would have taken the first step in finding your unique self. And that's the best version of you. Let your dreams fly, give them wings, be who you want to be, just by being fearless. Now opportunities, that's another important part of being fearless. They are very funny things. These opportunities, they don't come very often, they come far and few in between. But when they do, do we recognize them? Our job is to recognize them and make the most of them. I look back on all the things that I have done 
and the marvel of the opportunities that came my way. Miss India, Miss World, when I was in Bareilly in army school, my first film offer, my first music single, the first film I actually produced. There was never a plan, ever. More like this universe sort of guiding me towards these opportunities. All I had to do was recognize them and make sure I worked so hard that I squeezed every drop out of these opportunities. You have never arrived enough to explore new opportunities and there is nothing wrong with being ambitious. Now for all of you guys who want everything in life, I don't think there is anything wrong with wanting to have the whole cake and eat it too. Nothing wrong. I want everything and there is nothing wrong with that as long as you're not harming someone or doing something wrong. Don't be scared to want more for yourself than you ever thought you could. Be greedy for your ambitions. Be hungry for it. Don't live on someone else's benchmarks. We are told so many times in our lives, your responsibility is this, this is who you should be. Who can tell you who you should be? Don't let anyone or any situation dictate to you who you are or who you can be. Do not compromise. Do not settle on your dreams. Now, who likes to fail? I'm talking to those guys who hate to fail. Because I hate to fail. It's really as simple as that. One thing is as certain as night and day. Is that you will fail. It's just how it is. And there is nothing you can do to stop that. It's what you do after that will define where you go. It's fail, fail, fail again and then rise like a phoenix. You've got to teach yourself to take over the world. You fall, get up, make mistakes, learn from them. Be human and be you. So, what's your story? Isn't it inspiring the way she has gone through her life? Wherever she had opportunities, she always was ready for them. Opportunity ko le karke, hamesha aage badi. Aur kabhi bhi jivan mein failures, you know, she was always somewhere kicked out of her films. Wo saare challenges, problems hone ke baawajo, she stood up and kept on moving forward. Not easy to move from Bollywood to Hollywood. Yet, going strong in spite of the challenges, because problems, issues. So that is what we are. She talks about her uniqueness to being, bring out your uniqueness, recognize it and keep moving forward. So I'll urge each one of you to grab, you know, take some of these beautiful qualities, imbibe them in your life and be the best version of yourself. Thank you so much. Once again, let me unmute everybody. Just say goodbyes. Thank you, Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a fabulous day. Enjoy the day. Nice to see you after a long time here. <laughs> Putraji, Nikhil ji, Usha ji, uh, Laji ji, Raburaj ji. How is everybody? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Wonderful. Wonderful. Enjoy the day. Make the best of it. And we'll see you tomorrow morning. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.